With the amazing deals and unbelievable bargains, Black Friday and Cyber Monday are a shopper's dream, but it's also become a gold mine for scammers. In 2011, 1 in 25 Americans were victims of identity theft, alarming stats that could spoil your cyber deal hunting. So instead, be prepared and follow some simple rules to protect your identity. Same kind of risk that you would normally face uh, shopping online are heightened during the Thanksgiving season. Dr. Gerald Hughes is a computer information systems professor at the University of Texas Pan American. He suggested before you start shopping, update your virus scan software and your computer software to improve your chances of detecting new viruses. My um, basic advice is uh, don't click on the link. He also says be wary of any emailed offers from retailers you didn't subscribe to. That goes for Facebook messages from friends or direct messages on Twitter. Those accounts may have been hacked. You'll see something like a $99 iPad. Uh, they'll give you uh, an ad for a coupon and it looks like a famous uh, company, like it looks like Target or Sears or Pennies, but it's just a little bit different. But most of all, and this one's important, he says, Anytime it's too good to be true, then it's too good to be true. A better tactic, shop on credible sites you trust. Remember, if someone makes unauthorized purchases with your debit card, you're not liable for those transactions if you report them within 60 days. Get a single use credit card. Um, rather than put your full credit card uh, out there for uh, the purchases you're making, it's only good for that one purchase. And even if somebody does get a hold of it, then there's nothing they can do with it. Shop smart and make sure your Black Friday is the real deal. Mary Avila, Action 4 News.